Schaefer's sign, pigment in the anterior vitreous. So Schaefer's sign is also known as tobacco dust in the anterior vitreous, and it's a classic and important clinical finding in retinal detachment. And it refers to the presence of these really fine, brown, orangey, pigmented cells floating in the anterior vitreous, which you can see exactly there. And you can see that they originate from the RPE, the retinal pigment epithelium, and they're released when a full thickness retinal break allows liquefied vitreous to seep underneath the retina. And this separation mechanically disrupts the RPE layer and that liberates those pigment granules into the vitreous. And the result is the appearance of these tiny dust-like specks suspended in the anterior vitreous, hence the name tobacco dust. And the reason I want to show you these videos is because I want you to be able to be confident in differentiating vitreous cinerasis, red blood cells, pigment in the anterior vitreous, inflammatory cells in the anterior vitreous, to be able to make clinical decisions and support patients. Now, we're looking at the fundus here, and I think from what I recall, this patient's got a very shallow retinal detachment, which might be quite difficult to see on this video, but let's, let's have a look. So, you know, Schaefer's sign has a very high positive predictive value for retinal detachment and retinal tear, and it's considered a red flag in patients presenting with new floats or flashing lights. And so in the acute setting, seeing tobacco dust in a symptomatic patient really warrants a very comprehensive examination. So make sure you don't confuse Schaefer's sign with inflammatory cells or vitreous hemorrhage. The pigment cells have this orangey brownish hue and they settle more slowly. And a question that you might be wondering is, how long does it take for these Schaefer sign to go away? Does it in indicate acute findings? Well, the answer is, and I'll give credit to one of my colleagues, Mayuresh, in our, in our hospital for answering this question, is really, it takes around four weeks for the Schaefer sign to go away. And that's because the macrophages will actually eat them up. So if you see the Schaefer sign, it usually indicates a relatively acute pathology. So hope you found this video useful and let me know what you think.